Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to Fern Valley Farm's YouTube channel. We're on this channel, we are all country. All right, we're putting mouse guards on. Got my friend, whoop. We had a friend of mine's here. He's going to put his mouse guards on this morning, that time of year. Damn mice get in everything. So he's going to cut wire and put one on the front of each hive here. You got to make sure your mice don't get in there. They'll get in there and ruin your comb, make a nest in there, die. Yeah, you don't want bees getting in your hives. So he's going to cut some quarter inch wire and put that on the front of each one of these with a little bit of an opening you'll see here in a second. Yeah, stick one right, stick it right in the front, just see if they come through it. Or are they coming through it? Like what the hell are you doing? Well, even if, even if you have like a little gap or on the top of it's bowed a little bit, the bees can come through that. You know what I mean? Up on top. Let's see if he goes in there. He's got an opening just big enough to where... I got it out of the shadow. If you can see it on the camera here, he's got just a big enough opening for the mice, for the bees to get in and out, but the mice can't. I got to get out of, out of the shade here. Bring the camera over here. You could also buy mouse guards. They're metal and they got little Openings on the bottom so the mice can't get through, but the bees can. They get wet. No, that's about the size of everybody else when people make them. Yeah, I've noticed like if it's, if it's raining on the landing boards, it gets wet, and they come out and commit suicide. You know what I mean? You ever see that? Yeah. They get wet and they die. Yeah, I'm going to, on the way to rehearsal tonight, I think I might do that. Stop at the dollar store and get a bunch of, get like five little containers for a buck, and I can keep, put bees in each little container. Do many little mite, mite washes to see. Yeah, they can get to the bottom down there. Games at five thirty. Skyler's games at five thirty. I got rehearsal tonight.
see where am I at here? Oh, oh I gotta unzoom this. The sun is right in my face here. Yeah, see all this is is a little quarter inch, little quarter inch wire. You can just buy this anywhere. Cut it to size. Cut yourself out a notch. Just bend it up, just big enough so the mice can't get through. Well, it's beautiful out today. No wind. It's quiet. At least they're not too aggressive this morning. That end hive is the one I see they're all out on the front, you know, at the top. Oh. And for anybody kind of new with this whole beekeeping thing, if you're wondering why he's got different colors on each hive, it's just to help the bees identify which hive is theirs. Not that they don't know, but it just makes it a little bit easier sometimes. Every hive's got a different color stripe on it, and just makes it easier to identify when they're coming back. That it? Yeah, he's got a pollen feeder over on the on a post over there. If you see my recent video I just put on about the pollen feeder, you got to make sure your bees got pollen because, like I said, everything out here, this whole field, this is all pollinator habitat for bees. This was planted specifically for that, but it's all dying. You can see how brown everything's getting. You see in that video I just did that. They need to the pollen, so you want to feed them a dry pollen substitute. You need to make sure they got that going in the winter also, along with their sugar. He's got that man leg ultra B, which is good stuff. Have they been going in it? I had birds make a nest in mine. I need to put like a little screen on the front so the birds can't get in there. Here's another thing, like I said, for beginners, make sure you feed pollen substitute. They need it. If you put it in your if you put it in the feeder and they're not taking it, that doesn't mean they that means they don't need it. But if they're taking it like crazy, they need it. And those buckets of that bucket of that stuff isn't that expensive. Yeah, when I put that second one up yesterday, man, they were at it so fast, they went right into it.
I'm just gonna put some on the front of the hive to see if the bees take it. Let's see if they go to it. And I leave my pollen substitute out all winter long. So you get up here in the north, when you get a lot, when the winter really kicks in, you get a nice sunny day, the bees come out and start flying, and they'll go right to it. So when they do come out and do the cleansing flights, it's available to them. All right, so the mouse guards are on, the pollen feeder is filled. Hopefully, huh? Oh, yeah. I guess we're not done with this video yet. I forgot he's got, he's got to top his, you're going to see his hive top feeders and here. These rapid feeders are kind of nice, actually. Yeah, making sure your bees are fed too is really, really important. Like today is, a beautiful day. It's sunny. It's 70 yesterday, 70 today, 70 tomorrow. You want to kind of get your bees fed when it's when it's before the cold weather really hits up here anyways, because once it gets below 50, it's hard for the bees to process the sugar syrup. And like over the weekend, they're talking about 50 degrees, which means at night it's going to be in the 30s. So you want to get them filled up, get their get their stores built up. And I want to say one, let's see, one gallon of two to one syrup weighs 10 and a half pounds. That supposedly fills one frame. So one gallon of syrup, bees will put away in one, <coughs> excuse me, will put away on one frame. Yeah, that works so much nicer than matches, doesn't it? My damn matches were damp the other day. I'm trying. I walked up to the house, got my and got my little propane torch, and he's putting pine needles in his. You could use pine needle straw, dry hay, dry leaves. I use pine cones sometimes. I'll even throw some wet grass, some green grass in there sometimes because it's wet and green. It'll smoke. Make sure you get your smoker lit good and light good and don't be impatient like I am. I always get my smoker going and I think it's lit and it dies out. I do it every time. And I'm going to realize. So make sure you pack your smoker good, get it lit good, and you've got to keep running back and relight it. I always get impatient thinking I'm ready to go and your lid's not down on that. On your smoker. It's open. Oh. Cleaned. <laughs> there it goes. The bees go around the top of that cap, but they can get on the inside. You'll see it once he puts the syrup in there. Well, not too mean today. <laughs> now you're going to irritate them. Thank you. 
That rapid feeder holds about a half a gallon, I want to say. You just got to be careful you don't fill it too high. If you go, if you fill it too high inside that cup, the bees that are in there will drown. <laughs> Ask me how I know. Sometimes you got to do this quick. All the bees smell the syrup and they want to go to it. But you can see they're moving slow today. They're a little cool. They're not really touching that pollen. They might be. So he's just going to go down the line and top everybody off. Oh, yeah, where's your open feeders at? Over there? Oh. Oh, that's right. Yeah, see, so they get in there. If you shake them off in front of the hive, they'll go, they'll work their way back in. Well, that's all that pollen inside there, inside your feeder, all that dry. Yep. I was wondering what that was. Did you put the Ultra B in there? Not this time. Is, is that what that is? Yeah. You could add dry pollen, too, to your sugar syrup and mix it. Oh, okay. All right, so that's it. He's just going to top off the rest of his feeders, and then we're going to we're going to move on. We're going to do an update on the swarm. If you have seen that video a month or so ago, the swarm or the, the swarm that he caught in the swarm trap, we're going to go do that next. We're going to do a video on that. We're going to do an update on that. So hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you learned some. Any questions, comments, please leave them. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit that little button right there. And uh, subscribe to the channel. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Bye.